Welcome back to Service K9 UK. Today I'm going to give, uh, and this is mainly for beginners who perhaps haven't grasped the concept yet of telematics, how to get um, good telematics um, results. Now in this Volvo FH, um, it's a 2018 so it's a new one but most trucks have similar dashboard steering wheel buttons setups I'm trying to think of the words as I go along anyway on the steering wheel um, on the left hand side of the steering wheel on the uh, this Volvo you have the controls For the cruise control and switching it on and off that's just as it says refresh button or return button or continue button however you want to call it um, one of the things I've been asked um, I tend to get pretty good telematics results or scores or however you want to describe it um, and what most companies are after certainly the larger ones it's all to do with fuel consumption eco driving all that's palaver anyway um, I'm not going to go into the rights and wrongs of it just that it's cost them a lot of money and they want us as drivers to save it for them but hey ho never mind so because they want to use they want you to save money they want you to use these controls um, a lot of people don't use them correctly or they miss out on a few things but once you're up and running and moving all you need to use is this button here it's a toggle switch on this Volvo you just push it forward push it back now that once you've pressed the cruise control button and then as you press that it will come up on your dash on the, again on this Volvo it comes up displayed on here um, obviously I'm not driving at the moment so you can't see it but it'll come up in whatever you're set at miles per, miles, sorry, miles per hour or kilometers per hour and by pressing that button and then using the toggle switch up will obviously increase your speed down decreases your speed now once you've set the cruise control at your speed I think on this Volvo you have to be it's more than 20 mile an hour before you can actually set it but once it's been set um, say you're in a slow moving line of traffic you can actually s refresh it and it will pick up the set speed that you've set so um, you set your cruise control as you're above 20 mile an hour say you want to drive at 50 set it at 50 it'll come up on your screen 50 take your foot off the throttle accelerator and then just believe in the technology um, what you have got to remember though is it won't do everything for you it'll just set the speed don't be afraid of it because this button here by pressing it cancels it so um, let's think of a scenario We're driving at 50 mile an hour and there's a roundabout coming up and this is where you can get good telematic scores there's a roundabout coming up so well in advance just click it twice not once but twice once we'll switch it off but twice we'll actually cancel it and you tend to get better results by pressing it twice now another option that you can use 
which will increase or help your scores is the exhaust brake to the right. Now I use this and these buttons, these three buttons here on this toggle, you can go for hours without actually touching your foot brake or your throttle just by using these. So the scenario is you're coming to a roundabout well in advance, you can see it coming, press it twice, that takes your cruise control off. You're now, in the old terms, freewheeling, thus saving on diesel. You then use your exhaust to brake to slow you down. Now, don't rely on that totally. Um, a lot of drivers I've spoken to says, yeah, but I hit the roundabout, I'm going far too fast. Well, use your foot brake. This is to slow you down. And then use your foot brake, especially if you're loaded. With some weight on your trailer or on the back of you if you're rigid. So, to refresh. Set your speed using... The cruise control button on this Volvo it's 20 mile an hour plus I believe but once that's switched on you then can set your speed by toggling up or toggling down it may have been set previously say at 50 and you're in a 30 zone so just toggle it down and by looking at the screen here it will give you the speed once it's set Press that to bring you back to your speed that you've just set. To cancel it, once will cancel it, but if you press it twice, that clears it. That cancels the whole setup. But don't worry, because by pressing the refresh button, it will take you back to the speed that you set earlier. So what you end up doing, I use two fingers. This one, this one, well, finger and thumb, sorry. That's why monkeys can't uh, drive. Although looking at some of the drivers, maybe that's a wrong statement. So just doing that, then you can toggle. It's all you need. And then obviously this, using the exhaust brake. It's amazing how using the controls that these boffins have set up on our trucks, we can get very good results. It's like playing a piano. Set speed, cancel speed, the desired speed, toggle up, toggle down, brake. Now, in telematics, some companies because they can set the uh, parameters of the telematics uh, individually at each company. Some companies um, are very harsh, and very tight parameters, and it's very hard to achieve what they're after. Um, but a lot of companies, the parameters aren't too bad to achieve. Um, I regularly get A's right across the board. It's all to do with um, when you're learning to drive, they talk about uh, looking ahead at the road conditions, the road you're driving in, the traffic, etc, etc, and it's true. The more you can plan ahead, the easier it is to use these controls. It's so easy. Um, bearing in mind, you do need to use your throttle to pull away and things like that. But don't just slam your foot on the accelerator, sending on this particular version, this Volvo, this is the rev counter. Your green is sort of there. But a lot of people say, oh, I'm loaded. I bang the foot down to bring it around there. And that will take cause your um, telematic scores to drop because they want you in the green band all the time. So just take your time. You're not in a race. Um, other tips I'm trying to think of 
corners, um, bends in the road. Just take it easy. Don't go hurtling up to a corner, banging on your brakes, and then doing a sharp left or right. Um, you don't need to. And using this cancel button and the exhauster, in plenty of time, you can achieve very good telematic scores. I say regularly, I get A's across the board, and I'm no super driver. Um, in fact, a few years ago, I got fed up of people, you know, transport managers saying, come on, come on, let's get these scores higher, 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 whatever. I thought, well, what am I doing wrong? So I had a look. I mean, I've been driving 30 years now, and I had a look at my my actual driving style of that I've been doing for years and years and years. And I thought, right, let's play them at their own game. What do they want me to do? They want me to drive safely, and they don't want me to use diesel. Um, another one is tick over. This is where, again, where you can score pretty good on um, leaving your um, vehicle idling, as they call it. Now, on this Volvo, um, and the perimeters that they've set, uh, the company I'm driving for, two minutes, I think, you start to get... Um, I think it is set for two minutes. So, once you reach two minutes of idling, um, it becomes an issue. So, the way I get around it is... Say, for instance, you're down on air on your trailers when you've just hooked up. With the engine on and ticking over, if you press cruise control and this bottom, I don't know what the actual function is called, but let's say the return button, refresh button. If so, if you press cruise control, refresh button, it will take your idling or tick over speed to around a thousand or eleven hundred. RPM and that isn't counted against your idling time. So when you're um, building up air, instead of just sitting on tick over speed, on this particular Volvo, cruise control, refresh, it'll take your um, idling speed up to, I think it's about 1100 revs on this one doesn't count against your idling time. Also, if you're stuck in a traffic jam or traffic lights, on the Volvo, this, this particular Volvo, when this is all lit up, um, it goes from drive time, it changes to work time, and it starts off as zero, zero, zero. After two minutes, or well, certainly after a minute, it'll come up zero, zero, one, then after two minutes, zero, zero, two, etc., etc. So when it gets to zero, zero, 001, I know I'm going to be pretty soon clocking up my next minute. All I do is just switch it off. I switch the engine off, which then again resets your idling time. And then when your traffic moves, just start. Almost like, you know, these fancy cars with stop start. I do exactly the same. Most traffic lights will change within one minute, two minutes, certainly. Again, occasionally you'll get the roadworks traffic lights. They tend to be on longer. Or if you're on um, motorway, oh, snarl ups or hold ups, just switch it off. It's amazing how quickly you get good uh, telematic scores. Um, I think that's about it. But yeah, I just use two fingers. Toggle, toggle, toggle. Obviously the right hand, but I'm holding the camera. And use this to slow me down. And then to obviously stop, I use my foot brake. And to accelerate, um, I gently squeeze my accelerator. And then uh, once I'm over 20 mile an hour, bang on these. And your telematic scores will absolutely become really, really good. Another uh, use... Um, that I find is a is a good idea to bring your 
telematics up uh, the scores is um, say you're on a motorway and you're coming down a hill keep an eye on your speed so you're not over revving but just cancel your cruise control so you are in effect coasting downhill keep it say it keep an eye on your speed so you, you don't over rev you don't over speed um, obviously you probably won't over rev because you're coasting but I meant over speeding um, and then when you get back down to this um, particular Volvo's um, limited to 53 mile an hour so as I keep an eye on my speed as it starts to drop towards 53 I just press cruise control resume the resume button it's finally came come to me it's a resume button not return or <laughs> renew resume all means the same thing but yeah um so down a hill on a motorway it could be a dual carriageway or any bit of road where you can see there's a fair distance where you're going to have a couple of minutes where you can coast or freewheel depending on the terms you want to use press it twice knock off your cruise control um, it'll come up clear there it'll have a it would have been set up this particular vehicle it would have been set at 53 um, when you knock it off that 53 then has brackets on it to say it's no longer in cruise control um, and then as the speed drops I watch the speed drop and as it gets back down to about 53 ish I come back over here cruise control resume and it'll automatically find its speed set its speed and off you go again um, but that's a big um, telematics point scorer as well uh, so yeah I hope it helps beginners and um, I hope it helps beginners and old drivers alike um, because if your transport manager is particularly keen on your telematics and the the um, group if you like is uh, hot on bringing up all the group levels we operate as a group on I think it's round about B if it drops down to C um, it tends to be we've had a lot of uh, agency guys in who really don't care and they're not bothered um, but because that drops us down to C then it means that the normal everyday drivers have to do even better I suppose to bring it back up um, B is pretty good um, A as a group, a whole group, oof, it's going to take some getting, but it's worth trying to get it, isn't it, I suppose? So, say, very important. It really does work. Uh, don't be afraid of it. You've always got brakes, and you've always got a steering wheel, and you've always got an accelerator, but these buttons toggle up for increasing speed, toggle down for decreasing speed setting your cruise control yeah you're going to get some improving uh, results on your telematics and um, just drive like you're a beginner um, observe what's in front of you observe the road conditions uh, another little problem that crops up and I kept getting it myself I kept getting speeding infringement because telematics use GPS um, it positions exactly where you are so if you're on a road it knows what road you're on uh, and what speed limit that road is now I don't know if you've noticed but when next time you're, you're taking a, a drive actually look most roundabouts just before you hit the roundabout the speed limit drops so for instance you're on a 50 it can drop to a 40 or a 30 and it's only like 20 yards in front of the roundabout and that's where i kept getting nobbled i'd come off a dual carriageway a 50 up the slip road but at the bottom of the slip road it may say 40 it may say 50 but 10 yards from the roundabout at the top of the slip road it'll drop to 30 or something like that and I wasn't taking notice of the roundabout speed limits 
and I couldn't work out why I was speeding. So I asked my transport manager and we went through where, because it logs up where you were speeding, and we put it on the um, Google Maps street view. And where I didn't think there was a speed limit enforced, just before the roundabout itself, just as you get in on top of it, it drops, say, from a 50 to a 30. And I'd never clocked it before because, obviously, roundabouts are very busy and you're watching the roads and everything. So I started to take more attention of roundabout speed limits and, touch wood, I haven't had any um, infringements on speed because I'm now more aware. Um, you call it lazy driving, you know, you, you just... It's what you do, you just get into habits. So I, again, I, I reappraised how I drive and um, I say, A's across the board. <laughs> Most people who know me will tell you I'm no angel. However, I played the game that my company wants me to play and I'm getting A's. They're happy, I'm happy, no infringements. Jobs are good, as they say. So. Um, for beginners, I hope this helps. For drivers that have been around the block a bit and wondering why they're not doing very well. Honestly, start to use these buttons. Obviously they're going to be different in different vehicles, but on the Volvo. Cruise control, refresh or return. Toggling speed up and down. Cancelling, not once, twice. And use your exhaust to brake as you're pulling up to slow down. Um, and then your foot brake, obviously, and your accelerator to pull it, um, bring yourself to a stop or to uh, move off. Um, these auto boxes nowadays do everything for you. So, good luck. Remember, think about what you're doing. Um, it's what they want now. It, it's it's how, how things are, are going. You've heard about diesel cars being taken off the road. It's it's what they're after. So if I can help, or this video does help you, um, good. <laughs> it's it's what I'm here for. It's things I'm as I'm driving along. You know, it's very boring. I'm fed up a radio, so I start thinking of how I can help. Um, so thanks for watching, Cerberus K9 UK. As I say time and time again, I hope it helps. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe for more. And I'll catch you later with something else that I think about. Bye now.